Simon from ButtonGuitar.co.uk and this is part three of my tutorial on how to play classical gas. Um, now we finished on part two at bar 25 so carrying on on to bar 26 you'll notice that we're now into six four time. Now the easiest way of playing this bar is to think of it as four separate chords. Um, so we're starting with our C chord, so you want your third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and the first finger on the second string, first fret. And we've got basically a C major arpeggio. So we play the first string and the fifth string together. You play the second string and then the third string. So it's. On to the next beat and we're barring the first finger across at the first fret which now gives us the sixth string and the first string and second string you need to put the second finger on the third string second fret we're playing the sixth string second string and third string so we've got the c chord That's actually a chord of F major. Now we've got a particularly awkward little chord here. And what we have is a D7 chord or a D dominant seventh chord. Now we need to put the first finger on the first string second fret, the second finger on the second string third fret D, and the little finger on the third string fifth fret C. And we're playing the fourth string and first string second string, third string. So we've got C, F bar chord, D7. And the final chord in that bar, on bar 26, we need to place the finger across all six strings at the third fret. Now that's giving us the sixth string, first string and second string, which is giving us G's, and a D, and then you put your second finger on your third string again at the third fret, um, sorry, at the fourth fret. So we're now playing the sixth string, second string, third string. So putting that together, it's now. On that third chord, the D7 chord, if you're having problems playing that particular fingering or inversion of your D7 chord, you can always go for the easier chord shape, which is at the standard strumming D7 chord at the first position, which would be the first finger on the second string, first fret, the third finger on the second string, uh, on the second fret, first string, and the second finger on the sec uh, third string, second fret. So that the alternative would now be. That's an easier fingering. Um, There isn't a great difference between or either will work. Um, as I say, if you find you're having difficulty, because it is a tricky chord to get your things on, try the more straightforward D7 chord. Um, right, so now into bar 27, we're now changing the time, we're back to 3 4 time. So, this is played in your fourth position so we put the first finger on the um, first string fourth fret second finger on the second string fifth fret and we have an ascending little melodic line on that first string giving us G sharp the third finger will play the A then you're stretching the little finger to the B at the seventh fret but putting it together we've got the bass note and the first string together 
you play the second string, third finger down, second string, little finger down on that first string. So that is. Um, so if we put bar 26 and bar 27 together, it's giving us this. Play that again. Um, into bar 28, we're now into 4-4 four, four time. This phrase we're now playing at the fifth position. So pre-place the first finger on the first string fifth fret and we've got this little melodic line starting on that first string. Um, so we're playing the fifth string open and we need the little finger on the C at the eighth fret on the first string. So now we're playing, that's followed by the first string seventh fret and the first string fifth fret. So we've got, notice you're playing the fifth string bass note as well. That's an open string. The little finger drops onto the second string eighth fret. So we've got, you play the bass string, the fifth string again. We play the first string that the first finger's already on. And we play the fifth string again. And then we play the second string seventh fret F sharp with the third finger. So that's. Now notice, keep those two fingers in position. We don't need to move those now for the next bar. So bar 29, we're playing an arpeggio. So we're playing the fourth string, first string, second string, fourth string, first string, second string. So that's D, fourth string, A, first string, F sharp, second string. Then on the fourth beat, we play the fifth string open. And then the first string. Um, so bar 28 and 29 give us this. Um, so from bar 26 we have Play that again. So, bar 28 and bar 29, we repeat into bar 30 and 31. So, we're playing that twice. So, I'll play it from bar 28. Repeat it. And bar 32 is again a repeat of bar 28. But it now, on bar 33 it now changes. Um, so bar 33, we're playing the open fourth string. And then we're playing the fourth string again, but we're playing the little finger on the first string eighth fret. That's giving us C. Take that finger off and play the A at the fifth fret, first string. Onto the second string, eighth fret G. Back to the fourth string, open, and then back to the first string. So we're playing. Um, so that's taking us up to the nearly the end of bar 33. Uh, now before we carry on with it, I'll just play it slowly from bar 26. So C chord, 
F chord, D7, G chord. Again. Right. Now as we're moving into bar 34, we're actually, again, we're playing our G bar chord at the third fret. So it's actually it's actually working back down. So it's, it's, it's like an earlier sequence in reverse. Um, so we're barring at the third fret, putting the second finger on the third string, fourth fret. We play the upper three strings and then the bass note, the sixth string. So that's the uh, third, second and first strings, sixth string. We're now moving down to our C chord. So that's first position with your first finger on the C on your um, second string, first fret, and the third finger on the third fret, fifth string. So now we're playing the first string, then the fifth string, bar at the first fret, and with the second finger on the third string, second fret, we play the upper three notes again. Bass note. And then to finish that bar off, we're playing basically a B flat chord, but we need to have the second finger on the fourth string, third fret, the third finger on the third string, third fret, and the little finger on the second string, third fret. So we're playing the th fourth string, third string, and second string. And then an open fourth string. Um, so bar 34 is this. And remember, it, it does start on the offbeat of bar 33. So we've got the first chord we're playing is Um, into bar 35 and again we're, we're actually in 6-4 time um, so now this is a modified um, chord it's actually you can look at it two different ways it could be A sus um, 4 uh, or you could also call it possibly um, D add 2 backslash A but basically what it is, if we do the D chord, which I think everybody's familiar with the D chord, take the second finger off. So we now have the fifth string, the third string, second string, and the open first string. So we're now playing this. So we're playing it one, two, three. You play that phrase four times. Keep those fingers down, don't move them, and then with the second finger, we place that on the fourth string, third fret, F, and we play the fifth string open, the fourth string, third string, second string, open, first string, then back down. And then the final note on bar 38 is the open string. So we play five, four, three, two, open first, second string, third string, fourth string, third, second, and then the open third. Um, so I'll now play it from slowly from bar 26.
And that's where I will leave the uh, left hand on this tutorial. And now let's move over to the right hand. So bar 26, we have the arpeggio. So I'm using the third finger and the thumb, first string, second string with the middle finger, third finger with the index, uh, third string with the index finger. Then continuing the sequence with the fingers playing the upper three strings and the thumb playing um, on the, the next section, the um, sixth string. So that's fifth string and top three strings, sixth string. Now the D7 chord, we're playing the first string and the fourth string. And again, using the three fingers. And then we're on to the bar chord at the third fret, the G chord, the thumb playing the sixth string. And again, the arpeggio with the three fingers. So that's... Bar 27, I play using the, the thumb, middle finger, and index finger. So, middle index, mid, middle index, middle index with the thumb, obviously playing the, the bass note. Into bar 28, I start that with the middle finger on the first string, then index middle and then the index finger is playing the second string and that's to avoid the fingers crossing strings if you've seen any of the other videos that I, um, I've done you'll know that I, I don't like having the fingers crossing one another as they're moving across strings I try if possible to work it so the fingers are always on the adjacent strings rather than having the middle finger on the, the lower string and the index finger on the upper string. So you see that then would work mid, middle, index, middle, and then the index finger drops onto the second string, thumb, middle, mid, first string, thumb, index finger plays the second string. And again, uh, as we move into the arpeggio on bar 29, that's thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. So that's now giving us... And then you just repeat the sequence, so... The end of bar 29 into bar 30, you'll notice I'm actually playing the last note and the first note of bar 30 with the same finger. The middle, middle again. I suppose you could play that also with the third finger if, if you're really strict on wanting to try and use individual fingers. So you could play it as maybe use the third finger on that but I, I just think it's cluttering it up now with too many fingers and it's moving quite fast so you could possibly trip up that way but every player has their own particular ways of fingering uh, things and then I'm playing bar 33 thumb on the first note, I play the C with the index finger, the middle finger plays the A on the first string fifth fret, and then I'm playing the second string with the index finger. So I'm playing, and again that's to avoid the fingers crossing. The chords, as before, you're playing the upper notes with the three fingers, Bass note, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, 
fingers and then I play the open fourth string with the thumb. And then the chord, again, is just thumb and fingers. And then the, by 37 to 38, I'm just reserving the three fingers for the upper three notes and then playing the fifth string with the um, thumb and the fourth string with the thumb. So I'm playing. And then thumb, index, middle, index. So it's thumb, thumb. So that's how I finger with the right hand. I'm not saying it's the correct fingering, it's the fingering that I use in order to play this piece. You can try alternative ways of fingering um, these pieces. Uh, there are many, many ways you can finger um, guitar solos with both hands. Um, so at bar 38 is where I'll leave this tutorial for today. Uh, and I hope it is helpful um, in helping you to play this uh, piece. Um, music and tabs are available from my website www.boltonguitar.co.uk I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.